Hey, what's up guys? It's Slipper here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Real quickly before the video starts, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support on the videos and the live streams and even outside of YouTube. TikToks have been going insane. My Discord server has been going insane. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the love and support. It keeps me going a ton and I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite features and in my opinion, the best features from all the new Call of Duties, from Modern Warfare 2019, all the way to what we have now in Modern Warfare 3. And you can totally disagree with me. Every player in Call of Duty is different and has their own views and opinions. So please comment them down below. So for Modern Warfare 2019, obviously the best feature, in my opinion, is the movement. And this whole entire video is built off this. As recently in Reddit and on Twitter, people are arguing if movement ruined Call of Duty. And in my opinion, it did not. It added on to Call of Duty and change the game forever. The movement in Modern Warfare 2019 has influenced every single Call of Duty after it in some way. And movement was so influential that it made a whole new community slash part of the game. Since I've been playing Call of Duty since 2009, this entire movement wave has felt like trick shotting sniping back in OG Modern Warfare 2 with FaZe Clan, Reverse Red, Obey, and other teams, and anything connected with trick shotting and sniping. Within the Call of Duty community on Twitter and on YouTube, there are now movement players, teams, and clippers whose entire playstyle is movement. Modern Warfare 2019's movement was the best part of the game in all game modes throughout multiplayer, spec ops, campaign, and especially Warzone. I truly believe if Modern Warfare 2019 did not have the movement that it had, it would have just been another Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2019's movement can never really be replicated in the sense of how influential it was, and not in a game sense where you could literally just copy and paste the settings. Next is Cold War, and in my opinion, the best feature from Cold War was the gunsmith. I remember playing the beta, and the main point that everyone was very excited for was not only because it's a new Call of Duty, there's new maps, new weapons, it's a new entire game, but the fact that the gunsmith was not completely changed, but improved and added onto. The gunsmith system in Cold War was the best gunsmith system we've had in new gen Call of Duties. They added detail stats and literally Treyarch made everything about building a weapon class setup easier. Because in Modern Warfare 2019 and in previous CODs, you would just add an attachment and it would have pros and cons and or just have a description of the attachment and have one mechanic. As a whole community, we understood what every attachment did to what weapon we were using way more than we did in previous Call of Duties. And let's just be honest, Cold War was the perfect COD to follow up what Modern Warfare 2019 did. The only thing I would say the gunsmith system had that was bad was the influx and amount of attachments in the game. But that's how Call of Duty is nowadays. For Vanguard, and real quickly, I just do want to say this. I never played Call of Duty Vanguard. I never bought the game. But, 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 I was heavily connected to the game throughout social media. I was following Call of Duty news sources to keep up with the update to see what people were saying about the game. I was keeping up on YouTube while watching Phase Jev, Call of Duty update channels, and I was connected to the game in some way. And the one thing that I always heard throughout all of social media through Twitter, Reddit, Twitch, and YouTube was how good the combat pacing feature was. Even though there wasn't a lot of good things about Vanguard, the combat pacing feature was one of the best things. The combat pacing feature allowed for faster gameplay and more actions within your games. And it was filtering out slower and faster players and dividing them. The combat pacing feature is something I want back in Call of Duty. Next game that we have, unfortunately, is Modern Warfare 2. And let's be honest, nothing is good about Modern Warfare 2. All right, I'm joking. It's, it's DMZ. DMZ is my favorite feature from Modern Warfare 2. Comparing what we got in Modern Warfare 2 to even Vanguard in Modern Warfare 3, we've had a whole entire setback with that damn game. But one of the small but very bright lights about Modern Warfare 2 was DMZ. Listen, a lot of things were done wrong with Modern Warfare 2. Multiplayer, Warzone, the multiplayer game modes, like they replaced Hardcore with Tier 1. Small map mosh pit would always come in and out. Modern Warfare 2 was a whole mess. That's for another video. But DMZ was really good. It was underrated and it was original for Call of Duty. Yes, PvP, VE, extraction shooters are a thing, but within Call of Duty, it had never been done before and up to that extent. Usually, the third game mode is either Spec Ops or Zombies, and seeing how Spec Ops is never really played 
and how zombies only is really done well by Treyarch and sometimes by Sledgehammer. It was really cool seeing something new for the first time in a long time. The best part about DMZ was definitely in the beginning. No one knew what to do in DMZ and learning a new game mode, like a significant game mode in Call of Duty is very fun. For example, look at Warzone. Yes, it's a battle royale, but it didn't play out like Fortnite and or H1Z1 or PUBG. And that's why I think I really enjoyed DMZ. In my opinion, DMZ should have been continued and not treated the way it was after Modern Warfare 2's life cycle had ended. Even right now, as I'm making this video and even when I'm uploading it, there is a community of DMZ players playing DMZ every single day. That is truly a commitment. Next, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3. And in my opinion, the best feature or thing from Modern Warfare 3 is the maps. And I'm not talking about the original Modern Warfare 2 maps that were in Modern Warfare 3's launch. There's only a handful of OG maps from that game that are actually good. I'm talking about the new maps that were added post-launch. Every single map that I've played that's in Small Map Mosh Pit and even in Infected or 10v10 is really good. Every new Modern Warfare 3 map flows really well and how they actually play out depending on the lobby is a huge part of why I've kept playing Modern Warfare 3. Also, there's new variants and versions of maps. For example, Shipment, Doss House, and Rust have different versions of the map in the game and the looks and feel of every new map is an added bonus. Overall, I think every new Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2019, the new gen Call of Duties, have had a good feature. It's just the fact that Call of Duty, for some reason, no dev teams throughout all the three dev teams, builds upon what the last game did right and even wrong. Every year, it's a full hard reset on Call of Duty, and every year, the community has to adjust to an entire game. It shouldn't be like that. It should be the community adjusting to one whole innovative, new or changed mechanic that was not the best from the last Call of Duty. I truly believe if the devs built upon each other's work, more people would enjoy Call of Duty. But you guys see where I'm trying to get at here with this. If you're doing a yearly project every single year, why not just try and improve it and make it the best it can? Why are you trying to replace and change things that don't need to be replaced or changed? Wouldn't you want to improve the project every single year and change and fix things that were complained about and not good. This is one of the few times where I truly believe that changing a system or thing is not good for a game. The only thing in Call of Duty that's really interchangeable that no one will complain about is the create a class system. We had the pick 10 system for Treyarch. We had the classic system where we would pick a primary, secondary, and one attachment on both of those with three perks and lethals and tacticals. And we had Sledgehammer. And then now we have the pick 10 system. Like that's interchangeable. But changing the mechanic and features for every single Call of Duty every year is absolutely ridiculous. I just don't understand why every dev team tries to be different and tries to change the system and have their own spin on it. Even when the system is basically perfected and loved by the community. But yeah, those were my favorite and in my opinion, the best features from all the new gen Call of Duties. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. I upload every day and comment down your favorite feature from any of the Call of Duties I mentioned. But yeah, it's been your boy Limbo. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.